The time has come, my precious ones, when all of you who have come to me and chosen to live as Christ, to be their real and holy Christ self, the time has come for a new understanding of what this means, a new understanding of the resurrection, a new understanding of that which Jesus said again and again as he walked upon the earth. That is that you must be born again of the Spirit if you are to see and live the kingdom, the kingdom being heaven on earth. So today I am here to ask of you the deep and powerful transformation. I ask you again to enter the birth canal, the birth canal of the spiritual life, the birth canal to life in the real. For truly, unless you be born again, you cannot know me, and you cannot know your real self, yourself in Christ. Because you cannot believe in two things at the same time. You cannot believe in both God and man, in both the truth of love and the truth of darkness or insufficiency, ill health or lack. Because the moment you have a thought of humanness, you have taken the old world back, all of it, dearest ones, every bit, when the truth is there is only one, and that one is love. I asked you before to fully shift your heart perception, and today I must show you that you can only do this if you are born of the Spirit and release all of your humanness. The only way that you can do this is to consciously enter the birth canal to the real and to totally surrender, to release, to give up all of your human identity, all of it, beloved ones, every bit. You are literally the glorious Christed being of light, right now held in the chrysalis between the two worlds, between the old world of duality and the belief of love and something else, and the new world truth that love is all that there is, and love is forever and always who you are. All of the power of the Spirit, all of the great magnificent abundance, the radiant expression of life, the glorious ecstasy of love without any opposite or limitation. These must be your experience. The only way that you can have this experience is to totally surrender your human identity and to totally release your ego. To be born again of the Spirit means allowing me to live you, allowing me to place every thought and to grant you each experience, to align yourself with the great flow of love and love itself to find you and give you real feeling. The only way to accomplish this birth is the total surrender of ego, the total surrender of all that you are, your whole story, your human life, your little mind and all of its processes. All must be released in the chamber of your heart, in the chrysalis of the real, the birth canal of true love and of the experience of your great Christ Self. You must move beyond making decisions into a depth of surrender of your life that you have never entertained before. The only way, beloved ones, to release the hold of the ego mind is to be born again as the Spirit, to allow the God I am as you to fully take over and to expect that life of the perfection of love to already be complete. For, of course, it already is, and it is only the veil of the ego mind identity that keeps you from fully allowing it. And yet, all the ways every day that you take back your human life, all of these restrict you and remove you from the experience of your real Christ Self. Right now, most of you, when flying high, can feel it all. When your vibration soars and you are in the real, and you are the experience of pure glorious love, and you are the unlimited experience of abundance and the expression of joyous life. But as yet, you return to your identity as a human being, and the use of the little mind. Every time you do, dear ones, you come back to the pocket of reversal by going backwards, back up the birth canal, retreating from being the Christ and accepting again all the pulls of the ego, the old heart's belief, the whole package, the moment that you allow one thought. And yet, from the level of the ego mind, oh dearest ones, it is not possible to make the choice strongly enough that will release you from the binding of limitation of duality. The only way that I can promise you your success in being reborn as the Christ is if you completely surrender your life, every iota of it, every one, dearest ones, having no preference whatsoever except the experience of your awakened heart. If your living heart, your Christ self, and your communion with me does not move you to speak or to act or to feel or to think, then you have chosen not to do it. 
In other words, each of you in subtle ways has continued to take back the identity of the human self. The old heart's belief in limitation, in lack, in ill health, of struggle, and any number of parts of the dream, in the hypnotic programming of the consensual reality, that part which you have come to believe has been sneaking back up on you. What it does, the old world experience quietly returns to you in whatever areas that you still connect with your human identity. So I am asking you for a new commitment, a renewed and total rededication of your life to becoming the full embodiment of your glorious Christ Self. Living here on earth and allowing real love to live here as you, pouring itself through you to the world and touching every heart. It is time for your total rebirth, time to allow me to bring you through the deepest trust, through the experience of the chrysalis that you may emerge as the butterfly of the Christ, the great winged being of light, coming forth as the one great living love through the magnificent twin flame heart that you are, while being focused on the earth. So the first step is surrender again, your whole will, your being, your life, everything that is connected to the ego mind. All your stories, all its stories, desires, evaluations, preferences, dearest ones, your career, your life, your identity, your stories, everything you believe, everything you've experienced here on earth, all of it must be given to me, given up, surrendered completely, because only doing so will allow you to make the shift, to have nothing that is holding you in the old world vibration. Only then, with nothing holding you, are you free to emerge brand new, being born of the living spirit, the full expression of the twin flame Christ? Do you love me, beloved ones? Of each of you I ask this, because this love, this passion for the expression of God, the God I am as you, is the only thing with enough power to bring you through the birth canal to the real, to bring you into the acceptance of your Christ itself, your identity as the living heart of God, and your allowing love to live you, good to arrive every now moment, ecstasy to be your feeling with overflowing gratitude as the riches of the Spirit become your life. As these things become you, you will be as them. You will be the expression of abundance I am, of glorious, eternal, and perfect life, of joy, ecstasy, of all that is real. Not as something you experience, dear ones, but as that which you are. And that, of course, is a difference. But as you allow me to live as you, these things that are real become you, and each moment you are living them. There is no separation between you and the experience, but rather, they are your essential nature. You breathe, live, sing, and dance, as you say, the expression of God I am. Expressing as your magnificent heart of yourself, dearest ones, you cannot do this. For some of you, that has been the conclusion you have reached from this time, that your decision to live as Christ has been interspersed with bouts of humanness as you still have believed in the world outside, in the consensual dream with which you have identified until now. I want to tell you that there is a great movement of love right now on earth to assist you, a great vortex of light has opened, allowing you to direct and clear access to the unlimited real, the realms of love, the experience of my grace. Grace being the real feeling of the abundant Christ life that you are. The allowing of these feelings of the acceptance, the celebration, the rejoicing, the ecstasy of your identity as Christ to fully live you here. As you make this decision and you invite me in, as you release every last preference and desire of the ego, including those things that you cherish, release them in trust to me, O oh dearest ones. Now you are ready to begin living from the Spirit and being the opening, the conduit of love from the real of life to earth. As it flows through you, you become love's expression fully, joyfully as you. Most of all, you will be in alignment. Rather than living life on earth and reaching for the spirit, you shall be from now on anchored in the real and experiencing the real flow of life which is always and forever from the real into the world as a blessing and a benediction. When you become the surrendered heart and consciousness that the love I am may live here as you, 
Yet of yourself, your little self, you do nothing. But instead, you allow the Christ light, your real self, to do everything for and as you. At first, it may seem confusing, but the only thing that is confusing, dearest ones, is that there will be a tiny space, a pause, a waiting before the arrival in each situation of the great flow of love that is your Christ life. Pouring through your heart and your consciousness and directing every aspect of your life on earth as you become its embodiment. So as someone comes before you, rather than beginning to speak, you must open your heart in the real to life, to the great and glorious living love that you are, and to the assistance of beloved Jesus in aligning and attuning you as a vehicle for pure love in the world. As you wait on the Christ of you, your living Christ self, you are an empty vessel, yet filled with anticipation, determination, and the total openness to love. Thus, when the Christ light comes to wash through this part of you that is focused here on earth, you will feel it fill your consciousness and blast open your heart, and rushing through you, you will become its full expression. You become the Christ, speaking, loving, singing, moving, as your Christ self expresses here as you. As soon as you begin to experience this waiting upon the Lord, it is also called being born again of the Spirit, living as Christ, Suddenly nothing else can possibly do for you. You understand with every electron of your being what it means to be born of the Spirit and to allow the Spirit, the Christ, to live as you. There are many ways in which this love goes way beyond the capacity of your ego mind, dearest ones. This is why I have asked you for heart perception. But heart perception, beloved ones, is only step one, because it must originate in the real as you are born of the Spirit as you become the Christ experience each now moment, and every atom of your being sings out its identity, born again into the real, into the truth of Christ. You are the living heart of God, and the experience of life, of all the rich and expansive ecstasy, the communion of love with love through your open heart. When originated in the real and going through the illusion, Definitely this creates love's full circle and brings it forth as heaven here in the world. You already know about resonance, about the law of attraction, but beloved ones, you cannot do this with the mind. Yet you can create a variation in vibration. You can say mantras and make each thought positive, but you are focusing from the level of duality, of the illusion, and as you know, that can never fully work. So beloved ones, I now ask you to feel the chrysalis to feel the passage of you making into your real life, that the living heart of God you are takes up residence in your heart here, as well as there, alive in the real. As this happens, the dimensions open and life returns to the wholeness with no more separation between birth and spirit. And for you who hold the vibration of love, allowing love, truth to live you each now, and using your heart as your instrument of perception, for you, there will be heaven on earth in ways you cannot yet even imagine. As this comes and all old identities and limitations fade, and you are anchored up into the real each and every now, then you are free to walk forth as a great heart light and by your love to dissolve the illusion. Everywhere you are is revealed the Christ, standing before you, as each person's heart, and in your presence the misperception of limitation of a limited identity as a human being is washed away in the flow of love. For you as love moves through you, of course, but also for all others who are in your presence. If they are willing to accept what they feel with their heart and allow their heart to be their instrument of perception. Each of you as yet has areas where the dream can hook you back into the belief of limitation or lack and of yourself. You cannot do this for yourself from this level only by surrender to me to love and to the truth of Christ that you are. Only thus can you succeed in releasing the ego mind and its identity as a limited, dualistic human being. All systems must be reset to the living flow of love and life, to the giving of love that is creation. Only by allowing the flow of love to live through you and as you, can you yourself be released from your own illusion and brought forth born again as the Christ. In the time when Jesus walked the earth, many did not understand this when he spoke of being reborn of the Spirit. 
But all of you understand it, dearest ones, perfectly, and already live it part of the time, most of the time. And now you are ready to completely surrender, to release the ego and allow love to become your only identity as the living, giving twin flame heart of God I am. All the ways that your ego mind keeps you focused on getting something, protecting someone, even assisting those who are downtrodden. All of these things are the ego's way of trapping you in duality, in the world, in its world of the little mind. All of those things that it tells you that you must somehow take care of. Those who need your assistance, your protection, and all the preferences, all of the little things that it believes it must have in order to stay sane here, living life on earth, or whatever its line happens to be. Whatever that line is, be it protection or organization or keeping your head above water, it is always to keep you attached to the dream. And you now must take the upper hand and you must choose to surrender everything that the ego wants, everything that it cares about, all of it, dearest ones. This is the chrysalis, the birth canal to the spirit, and yet you must deeply know, feel the truth on every level that all I have for you and everything you are is far greater, more glorious, more perfect, a greater expression of joy and of life than anything in the ego mind's world. Therefore, I ask you to have faith in the truth of good, in the truth that love is ever and always bringing forth its highest expression, and at the greatest, greatest good that your little mind can possibly dream, as it reaches and seeks and outdoes itself, is only the tiniest fraction of the good, dearest ones. That is your natural inheritance, your truth of who you are, the one truth of glorious love. When you open yourself to this love I am, we are, to it living you and giving you as itself, O oh dearest ones. You will discover that real love is more magnificent, more amazing, and more beautiful than you could have imagined, beyond anything the little mind can ever comprehend. And this is why the little mind must rest. It must become a simple conduit, a focal point to allow the love you are to come forth on earth and nothing else. For you are this glorious love. You are its living heart, dearest ones, in the freedom of your spirit, of your truth, of your life. It is beyond anything your mind can imagine. Like a great bird on gilded wings streaming through an endless sky, with freedom spilling from its wings and love the currents up which it flies, and always paired with another, singing songs of joy, streaming forth love and blessing from every feather, while its wings trust the living currents to take it where they will, that it may be the best expression of flight that it can. This, dearest ones, is you. It is a symbol of your freedom, of that to which I lift you now, as you are reborn in the spirit. That which was your human identity now falls away effortlessly and simply as you take on being love. As the focus of your life becomes the real, the realms of spirit access through your heart and your innocence, your purity, the glorious love you begin to appear as you here on earth. As you breathe perfection, glorious health and life and abundance and joy, as each of these things washes through you and lifts you into a realm of consciousness and penetrates your heart, you will release all separation between your life in the real and your life on the earth. And wrapping every other glorious heart, you become love's full expression in each now moment. So I ask each one of you to choose to be reborn of the Spirit, to allow me to guide you through all experience and meditation of being reborn in the Spirit that love be born on earth. And all the joy that is meant to be yours, all this joy now can manifest through the law of resonance through the perfection of your own Christ heart. Released at last from the pull of the ego, from its deep connection to the belief in shadows, and free at last. You shall be the chalice from which every human heart takes communion and becomes their own real Christ. Let this be the year of the full emergence of the Christ at heart in the ecstasy of love that you are. While living here, Peel away this old illusion of separation, lack, and pain, and let me deliver to every precious heart the gift of eternal life and earth as paradise. I am with you with every breath you take. I am deeply and fully present. I am the love that we share every moment. I am your Christed heart. I am the twin flame love of creation, which you are the embodiment. 
and I am the plan of love's awakening, already powerfully accomplished here on earth. Amen. <laughs>